Hi, my name's Grace. I'm a part of the sales team and I'll be giving you a demo of Fleetio today. So on this work order, we'll be able to fill out the work that needs to be completed on the vehicle or piece of equipment. So if I am the fleet manager and I know that this issue needs to be fixed, what I can do is fill out this work order and assign it to my technician. So let's say I want them to start tomorrow at 8.01 a.m. I can come in here and assign it to a specific person and then came in in this example, we'll get notified that this work order has been assigned to him and that he's responsible for it. In Fleetio, you can use labels to track and categorize the different types of service. So if we wanted to track PM work or maybe we want to track accident work, you can always add that as a label here. And then when you run your reports, you can filter on that label. If we did have any of the portion of the work outsourced, then we would put in the, the vendor here. And then if there's any invoice or PO number, you can put that in there. Custom fields are great because you can have an unlimited number of them. And you can also make them specific to your fleet, to your operations, to your business. Whatever data point is important for you to track, you can throw that in here as a custom field. And then later when you're running these work order reports, you'll be able to pull that out. A lot of our customers will use GL code as a custom field or any other finance related data point that they need to capture. And then that way, when they run those cost reports, they can send those directly to their accounting team and their accounting team can easily filter and sort what they need to. So here under issues, we're noting which issue is being resolved as a part of this work order. Since we're fixing that flat tire that we caught on the inspection, we're going to have this issue selected. If there were any other open issues on this vehicle, they would show up here too, which is super handy because then you're going to be able to fix all the issues that are open on that vehicle at once. We definitely don't want any boomerang vehicles where you fix it, it's in the shop, it, it gets resolved and then it leaves and 15 minutes later it has to come back to the shop because we realized we left something off the work order. Down here we'll add our line items for this specific item. So let's go ahead and add the tire replacement that we're doing because of the flat tire. So I add that tire replacement and then I can add labor. So we'll say Cayman is working on this flat tire and we'll say he worked for two hours. Cayman can also clock in onto a work order and I'll, I'll show you that on the app here in a minute, but you can also designate beforehand who is doing the labor and then you can go back in after and edit it. All these permissions are user-based. So if I'm the fleet manager or the admin, then I have access to edit and update all of this, but you can have your technicians to where they can only clock in and clock out. Let's go ahead and add a part as well. So we'll say we're going to add a Michelin tire. And then if I have any notes or details about the service, I can add it here. And that will automatically calculate the total cost of the work order. The other thing I want to point out here is the service reminders module that is handily available for you to look at to see what else is coming up. So we have a couple of things here at the top that are overdue. We can go ahead and add those to the work order. And again, avoiding those boomerang visits. Don't want this truck to have to come back because of service that we overlooked. Down at the bottom, you can add photos, documents, receipts, or invoices from any parts that you ordered for this particular work order, any before and after photos that you want to add. All of that can be housed here in the work order and then later pulled out if you're looking at the history of the vehicle or your, the history of your work orders or just your general documents module in Fleetio, you'll be able to see the documents that we added to this work order. Now, once I save this work order, it will automatically resolve that issue. So if you'll remember, we have the outstanding issue on the vehicle due to the flat tire. Well, this is going to close the loop here because since we fixed that issue, it is going to be resolved. <laughs>